Hello everybody and welcome to the Benevolent Society audio trope session. We would have really loved to have been doing this together in a room live, but tier four restrictions meant that we couldn't get together. So tonight we're coming pre-recorded from our own homes and um, I'm sending lots of love to Lily and Tom and uh, all of you at home. So I really hope you enjoy what you're going to see tonight. You're going to get a little bit of spoken word mixed with a bit of music and um, yeah, if you like what you see, then head over to at Resonate Hastings and follow us and maybe drop us a message if you want to get involved. And um, you can check me out at, at Tom Clarkson Music. Merry Christmas. Uh, front lines. 
We will fight them in the car parks. We will fight them at the checkouts. We will fight them in the reduced section. We will fight them for the four for the price of three offers that can't even be bought anymore due to recent temporary restrictions in place upon purchasing any more than three of any product in an effort to combat panic buying and hoarding. We shall never surrender. And I shall never rest until given full military honours, a knighthood, an MBE and a big old fucking parade for the streets rather than being on the front lines. Oh yes, the front lines. Rushing out over the trenches of trolley bays to capture the enemy trolleys, wiping down handlebars with disinfectants, and then retreating with these carts for you ungrateful bastards under fire from the shelling of gas bombs launched by the artillery that is a child's cough. Yes, I am on the front lines. Me, fighting side by side with my delivery men brethren, falling in honour for queen, for country and for God like any true patriot of the ladies at customer services. It is us who are out on the front lines and we are brave. We're so very brave. Forget about the doctors and the nurses. Forget about the diggers at graves. Forget about the scientists. Forget about the ambulance drivers. Forget about the fucking soldiers. Ernest Hemingway and Wilfred Owen didn't have diddly fuck on me. Dying for your country? Fuck off. I'll die for Tesco. I'll die for this company. I'll die for minimum wage. I'll die for that 10% bonus for all the hard work that I've done. What did General Montgomery do that I don't? What did Winston Churchill achieve that I ain't? What's that you say? Margaret Thatcher, the Iron Lady? Well fucking call me Tom McCann, the trolley man. Cause I'm saving you and this country one trolley at a time. I'm on the front lines mate. I'm an essential worker doing essentially nothing. I am a key worker opening the lock for the door that is you putting your bulk roll into your trolley. I'm on the front lines mate. And mate, I could fucking do with a line to take the edge off all this British exceptionalism that trickles all the way down to queuing in line. You say flatten the curve, flatten the curve. I say flatten the curve of the cultural decline of a country defined by colonialism and war crimes and its citizens' bank cards being declined in the name of austerity. Austerity. As if austerity could ever bring about prosperity. You thought the last decade was shit. Well, buckle up, chuckle fuck, cause this one's about to get messy. She says flatten the curve, flatten the curve as he makes posts about the flatness of the curvature of the earth and it's been so long since anyone's met a bird they've all started seeing sexy women's curves in the trees and in the dirt. And as he opens up another bottle, he says this them fucking sinks. I say mate, why don't you just take a minute to think? I say mate, why can't this bring us closer together? And then I remember who and what we are, and then I laugh that off forever. Life is strange, yeah, it's strange. like a game, but I don't ever want to understand how to play. I want to make my own rules. Wait, fuck rules. I don't want anyone to be ruled. Listen to your heart. That's what I believe in. Life is strange. I refuse to listen. I'm on a mission to complete the requests of my intuition. Life is strange, yeah, it's strange. Acting out the part, the part of the girl whose daddy broke her heart. Life, it's really strange, yeah. 
yeah, it's kind of strange. Three steps forwards, five steps back. It's just a feeling I can't seem to crack. Yeah, life is strange. Yeah, she's strange. When I'm sitting on the beach and the darkness came, when I'm wearing a hood, I don't feel afraid. But when I'm wearing a skirt, I feel I need to run away. Yeah, life is strange. It's really strange. Surely we're all the same, but society plays a trick, and that's not a new thought. I just chose to believe what I've been taught. Life is strange, oh yeah, it's strange. Stuck in a loop, screaming in desperation for some change. Are we in charge of our destiny? Or is there someone else to blame? Life is strange, oh yeah, it's strange. But we can rewrite this. No more pretend. Let's I love these clean pages. Unwritten upon them is a doctrine of ageless relevance that testifies to the presence of mind I have to rise again. And when I land, I pray the hand that gives will giveth to me the courage to stay afoot in the footsteps of no one. Nowhere should I be but right where I fell before, where I struck the bell that floored us into silence. It sang to our morning, peeling a tune that is comforting and warming in our waking night time where terrors abound, in solitude, found there clinging to rest, to repose. For the morning that rose thereafter found fresh fears calling, listen up. With your ears closed, you won't respond to those that gently play the tune. Like footsteps on a lunar surface, seen but not heard. My eyes directed inward can't read the word. The clouds roll back and reveal a sunrise that hits every soul deep, but lets every soul keep the wheel turning. Money they're earning, time they're spending, time well spent in a world never ending, where peace will come to those hell bent on self-destruction as much as those that seek calm, who don't know it will hit them in a way they would have never foreseen. For the clouds roll in as suddenly as they part, the quickening of a heartbeat can take you off your seat to be afoot once more, to climb the zenith you saw when the sky was clear. You know you've been here before. The hand that taketh can't take away your pain, can't lift off all the strain, but can take you on a new path with fresh scenery if you listen keenly. Let it guide the way. The clouds bring the rain, and the earth receives it gratefully. Those bitter storms play hateful games and settle the score, then wait for me to play my hand. Like a seed that bears no grudge, no recollection of the waves of the past, prove nothing will last that hurts me or holds me. Nothing will last that hurts me or holds me. This is called Bottle Alley Bum. It's about Bottle Alley. <laughs> <clears throat> I got hair like a broomstick, teeth made of matchsticks, my hand is my mistress, my brother is a dog, and I ain't never known nobody by the name of God, but I've got a big beard belly like a fat fucking hog, and my best friend is a bottle of rum, do you know who I am? I'm the bottle alley bum, give me 20 pound and I'll get down on my knees. Give me 20 more and I'll be begging you please I'll be barking down the streets like a mad dog off a leash Ready to make a just about anyone come But if you've no money to spare Well then don't you worry there's always a basking with my watermelon drum 
I'll find my way. I'll make my pennies, cause I, I'm a bottle alley bum. And I'll be dancing neath the moon from dawn until noon, diving down the well and making my wish. And I'll be splashing through the waves in my own little rave, making acquaintances with the fish. And I'll be bathing in your ponds, slow dancing with the swans. And I'll be eating for dinner a roadkill dish, and then I'll fall asleep on the grass, sipping whiskey from our flask. Giving the rabbits and the insects a good night kiss whilst ripping my hair out for some gum. Cause, well, you know who I am. I'm the bottle alley bum. So from my string cup phone, I invite you in my home. I made with corrugated metal and melted wax. Where I'll be a gnawing on a bone and I'll be a groan and a moan. Sat naked on my newspaper throne. Wearing a crown made from prick sticks and bottle caps. And we'll go free in the mouse from the mouse traps and then chomping on their cheese until we collapse from our collective heart attack. And all the while, we will never see the sun. Cause you know who we are? We're the bottle alley bums. So in a pigeon feather dress, in a seagull's nest, will you marry me? With each of our last long quids, we'll buy plastic bottles for the lids to cut out rings for our decree. We'll have a choir of sewer rats And our vows read out by a two-legged cat And my best man will be A stray dog with one eye And you'll be walked down the aisle By a pair of cripple-winged bees Whose bumble and hum Will be on like a drum And carry you along into being my My bottle alley bum And you know that we do You know that we'll do too many drugs and we'll drink too much and we won't tell each other that we love each other enough and yeah we might decide we've had enough by the time that we at 13 yeah we're fucked up but you know what fuck it we're through we'll reach out you and me so what's the point in wondering of why and how that we become we know what we are and we we're the bottle alley bums Get on the way, get on 
Get out of the way and maybe today won't turn out that way. Dating apps. Tinder. It's like looking through a window. A window to your hollow soul. And all you see is your ego waving back at you. You did this to me. Yourself bathed in wealth, bathed in good health, bathed in that thick black goo called narcissism. Be my baby, be my fling. Bring me some kind of feeling. I'm relying on you to stick me back together. Be my glue, even though I barely know you. Instant gratification, the people's date in PlayStation. I'll be your plaything, but I'll ignore you when my phone rings. Looking through your photos, thinking, oh no, let go, don't pose. Let's be our most authentic self. But we're both drowning in a false sense of self. My identity can't quite play to me. Let's bang in your car and then I'll know how far you're willing to raise the bar, even though your personality is like drinking down pure tar. A photo of you topless? Your brain must be useless. Nowhere to be found. I'm staring at that pic of your chihuahua with a big fat frown. So I swipe left and the next guy, well, he ain't quite what I want in bed, but he says he doesn't like the Tories and it gets me kind of horny, so I wank one out. Am I a clown or a puppet? The love game, I can't quite hack it, but I really want to crack it. So I download Bumble. It doesn't quite make me humble. I'm in a bit of trouble, maybe even double. I'm in a muddle. So I just lay there in my own cum puddle, thinking, I really want a cuddle. Am I unlovable? No, you're untouchable. Playing bowling with your pink fleshy heart. But there's no pins to knock down, no strikes to win. Just hungry male carnivorous mouths devouring any chance to feel anything. Putting your feelings in a bin that's shaped like an app, just codes, calculations, algorithms, I'm shivering. Take it on the chin. We're all in the same boat. Well, I wanna jump off and swim. I don't care if I die from exhaustion. I'm gunning for that hot, sensual foursome, not the stoner boyfriend. <sighs> Look, get off your phone, tell someone they're beautiful. You'll find something way more cool, something real, something true. I can't wait to show you. The Sunset Boulevard. Oh, why did the chicken cross the road? It's the fool's pride, the delusional fantasy of a faded empire that can't bear the reality that she is not what she used to be. Old in the face, weak in the knees, she does as she wants, but not as she needs. She's a tired old story indeed, sleepwalking to her end. And all her friends, they're frankly embarrassed. She's had her time, but now she's got to go, and everybody knows it too. But she can't handle the truth. This regards all proof of some conspiracy. It's just fucking typical at this point, really. 
She's like an old dog with crooked joints that still hasn't lost its bark and won't stop deep into the dark of the night picking fights with shadows and all because her past glories. Ah, uh, it's just fucking typical at this point, really. So call it Sunset Boulevard because the end is getting there. She's getting paranoid now and she's reeling back in fear. Sneering at her oldest friends, mistaking all their love for Liz, forgetting everything they did for her. As she picks apart the past while the future disappears, I think it's fucking clear. England has got dementia, so maybe it's time for euthanasia to get to the other side. I'm going to finish off with something that I wrote just the other day, so um, I'm going to read it from my book. Um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the super Christmassy tone as well. Um, I know that Tom McCann specialises in Christmas cheer. Getting mellow in the front room, I sleep it off in the back. There's nothing left to give. Tight rope, no slack. No dreaming of easement. Don't breathe in the air. Just swing back and forth like you're too strong to care. Too busy to notice, but you know full well this feeling won't sell it. Find the myth and dispel it. To market, to market, to buy a new rig and then I stay up all night, compose a new jig. So I can dance in the freedom of creative expression. I don't sleep at night because I'm planning the next session. I'm thinking about my soul, I've got my soul on my mind. I neglect my tired body just to lay down on the line with the oldest of habits. They're my oldest of friends. But to my closest of allies, the most destructive of trends. I wake up in the front room, wondering where I've been. Sleepwalking for the day just as sweet as a dream. I count the days by the length of the hair on my face. I come to realise my position in both time and space and then smack goes the floor as it rushes up to meet me. Loud screams the demon, but loud won't defeat me. I trick the devil and isolate a thought that I can keep afloat. I save enough breath to sing a note. Stay sharp. I know when to leave. Soft enough. I still believe that I believe, but as the weather turns colder and my ears feel the frost, my steps are getting bolder though my feet know that I'm lost, so tender tread the wilderness and wisdom every day. Experience is pushing me, inquiry lights the way, wondering when will this be over? When the fuck is this going to stop? Will we walk another mile before we let the load drop? Never before have I thought so much about death, seeing loved ones struggling to take a breath, coming up for air, you could be pushed back under. You see the flash of lightning just before you hear the thunder. Thanks very much again for joining us, everyone. We really hope you've enjoyed this tonight and um, we really look forward to seeing you all in the flesh in 2021. So enjoy the rest of your Christmas and uh, have a really good New Year's Eve and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.